I cried today, Jules. Why? I don't know. I was feeling like I was, I don't know whether I was happy or sad. Wait, what? What, just in the morning? Like I just morning woke cry. up in the morning and I was like, I went downstairs and I was like, I felt like, no, nah, this is, I don't know what's going on. I was like, I feel, I feel lost. I was like, this is, and then I put on that Stevie Wonder song. Which one? Signed, delivered. Oh, you? signed, still delivered. I'm, I'm yours. Yeah, I was like, I was put that on and then I just started crying. I was, really? I was crying. And I was like, <laughs> but I wasn't happy. I was like, <laughs> and then I stopped and I thought it's over and I put on the pixies and I started crying again. I was like, no, nah, I was running my bath, crying while I was running it. And then when I got in the bath, I was like, okay. Wait, were there bubbles yeah. in the bath? No bubbles. Just water. water. <laughs> <laughs> it felt good though. You have to cry. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you can't cry around your friends, they're not really your friends. Yeah, 100%. Like, even the mandem. <laughs> Even the gangsters <laughs> Gangsters cry Gotta cry I know um, They drop tears Even, if, tears. even if it's just one Just the one yeah. That dry <laughs> Like your eyes Sucking it back yeah, up Yeah yeah You still gotta let something out you know, <laughs> That's <laughs> hilarious You know what made me Really happy actually um, It was the video you put up Before the album came out Of you I don't know where you were I think you was in Northampton And you were just saying Like this is your And you can put this In your own words But you was like This is like my biggest accomplishment yeah, yeah, is this yeah. album. Yeah, yeah. Is that true? Yeah. yeah. How I'm, weird is that? Apart from winning the egg and spoon race. So, <laughs> How no, old are you? How old are you? Like in year four. Okay, cool. So I tripped the year before, so I think the second time. You I, came back, you was like, I'm going to do it. <laughs> I, was, I was gone. I was like, Ugh. like I remember the, when I fell. And then the kid ran past me. He was devastated. I started crying then. <laughs> I was like, ah, like, this guy trying to claw her ankle and said, no. So since the egg and spoon race that you finally won, the, uh, nothing great about Britain is your biggest, biggest accomplishment. Big, the biggest thing. What does it feel like? I don't know. Really. I don't feel, I think there's not really a way to explain it. I think it's lost. I feel lost. Really? Yeah. Lost in what way? What do you mean? Like, I don't know how to react. Okay. I don't know. That's what I think. When you build something up in your mind, you think, you this is how it's going to be. This is how it's going to be. You do it with everything. And yeah. then with this, I think it's just relief. But not relief. Just don't know. I don't know what I feel. Yeah. Uh, like, I'll, I know I feel like sad and happy and At angry. the same time. But yeah, all of everything. But then I think that's where I'm confused because I don't know. There's not like one distinct emotion. Yeah. What's going to have to happen? Is it going to be a show? Is it going to be, I don't know, your favorite artist saying that they love track eight, whatever? Like, what's going to no. be the thing that's going to make you think, my album like is really out? Like, people really have it and they are really listening to it. I want George, the homeless guy from Northampton. Mm. I want him to know about it. Okay. And then I'm going to give him an album today on the way yeah. home. That's the most important bit. Him, yeah. I'm glad. I like that. Because he's like a legend around Northampton, but he's just, everyone treats him dread. Now I hear about you outside of the places I ever thought I would. Hey. You know what I mean? I, I hear about you and I'm, people contact me to talk to them about you. Um, people like journalists from the New York Times. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. want to talk. We want to talk about slow time. We'd love you to tell us about him. And I'm like, Re- like New York Times. This is. <laughs> I didn't know anyone outside of like out of the UK was really into Tyler like this, but they are into you in a way that makes me happy because they care about what you have to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It isn't just about your music. It's about how you carry yourself. It's about what you represent. And so I had a really fun time talking to this journalist about, I guess what I feel you mean to the people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And one of the big things that came up was politics and how you feel about politics. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you've called all politicians every single swear word under the sun. Yeah, Inc- yeah. And the queen as well. Shouts yeah, to the queen. The shout out. <laughs> shout out the queen. Shouts to the queen. Do you feel like that is just a part of who you are? Whether you was making music or not, would that be something that was always kind of close to your heart and something you'd want to be vocal about? I think I've always had frustrations towards anyone with authority or okay. any kind of thing. I just don't believe anyone can speak for anybody else. Right. So I think it's always been there, but I never really like read into it. Like mm-hmm. I never see much point. Do you feel like you have a responsibility in any way to sort of give a balanced idea of what politics yeah, is yeah, to, it, to people? It's all good being the guy just saying, fuck it. <laughs> like, <laughs> ah, yeah. <laughs> oh, like, but at the same time, you got to kind of, you got to lead people to their own truth. Exactly. Like people have to, you have to provoke a thought 
and then allow people to make their own judgment. You can't just shut people away from it. Like you can't say that. Yeah, and they're like, okay, let's just go. Yeah, I'm gone. <laughs> None of it matters. Uh, and then next year, something happens, and then they're like, why did you tell us to do that? Why? Why? <laughs> like, it's like, no, you gotta like, don't be so dumb just to say F- this for yeah. the sake of saying it. Is there anyone in politics that you do like? <laughs> Sally Keeble. <laughs> I don't yeah, even know that. You is. know why? Because she was like, I think when I was growing up, she was like the MP for Labour from, like, she come to my lower school. Oh, is it? And I was like, yeah, <laughs> Sally, welcome, let's go. I need, I need you to meet Sally yeah, in real life now I at do. this age. I do, yeah, I do. I need to <laughs> reignite that, rekindle the fire. <laughs> yeah. That would make me so happy. Yeah. <laughs> do you vote as well? You do. You, yeah, do, do, you, vote. Do, you do vote. I vote. Oh, sick. Okay, cool. Like, have you voted from the the day you were allowed to? Has it been like that? Um, no, because I was lazy. <laughs> yeah, that's not. But that's not because I think I was so just doing other stuff mm. where I never really was inside enough to pay any attention. Right. To it. Okay. And then the people I was with. That would not, it wouldn't even... It wasn't on their list of things to do today. To talk about. That's not... (laughs) You start talking about politics, man. Looking at you like, wait, what? Look at this fed. (laughs) (laughs) That's right. Nah, this informer. Like, nah, what? They start looking at you funny and that. But I don't know how I feel... Yeah, I'm trying to make up you're, for it. You're getting trying, old now, yeah. Ty. You're getting old. It, it actually works. It counts for me now. <laughs> like I don't. I want to read my paper and have my cup of tea in peace. Like I need to. I need to know what's going on in the world. Look what happens to kids. This is what happens, <laughs> kids. This is an example of a man who has grown up and now don't grow up. Kids just needs to vote and do normal adult yeah. things. Nah, burn that. Burn the system down. Guy Fawkes in this matter. <laughs> I'm running up in there. Parliament, ten Downing Street. It don't matter who lives there. I'm turning it into a squat. Oh my goodness! That's what's happening. It's a squat. I'll come for that. Actually, yeah, here we got. Do you know what? I just want everybody to know that Ty also has an electric scooter. So in my head, I don't need to go through no barriers. Yeah, no, he's just, he's just going on his scooter. I'm in out. I'm like, <laughs> that That scooter is dodgy when you go down because there's no shock absorption. It's just, you, it's just dangerous. So you're like, F- it. did you try? I try with one hand having a cigarette. I'm like. I have to lean, lean my belly up against it. <laughs> I'm bare far forward, like. <laughs> oh my goodness! Watching out for the potholes. <laughs> it's crazy. I swear. You should not be allowed to have one of those. I don't know why they sold it to you. And I want to make it really clear: this is a, like an actual. This is the original, not like a scooter, like a like a motorcycle scooter. No, no. And this is an actual electric. Just two wheels at the bottom. Yeah, yeah. Flat platform, stick and handles. And it makes it so. <laughs> yeah, you're like you get gassed when you put on a tune. You're like, <laughs> Do you wear yeah, a helmet? Do you wear a helmet? No. Nah. Oh, Ty, come on, safety first. Just, I'm a cra- I'm the crash dummy. I'm <laughs> testing. I'm out here. I'm ready. I'm cutting through. That's amazing. The album is called Nothing Great About Britain. In the lead up to the album, there are a lot of people who are super excited because you had these incredible billboards mm-hmm. around London that were given out. Actual stats, like real yeah, facts yeah. about different things when it comes to, I guess, society, politics and things like that. Um, but there were some people that were really sad. And they were like, hey, how dare you insult Britain? Uh, you scumbag. Scumbag. Go and live somewhere else then if you don't yeah. like it very much. Why did your ancestors move here? <laughs> that is the dumbest thing. Are you? Why, did, that, did it even cross your mind for a second that people would take the title of the album in that way? That's why it's called. That's why. <laughs> Because it's like, for your arrogance and your ignorance and your stupidity, yeah, you'll make yourself look like an idiot. <laughs> like, this is the thing. People who had an argument, they didn't have no argument. They come and they're like, well, it's like you either work for the EDL or something, mate. Yeah. Like, because they just, it's stupid. Like, look into Windrush, look into the history of places. Mm. Look at the other places in the world where there's kings and queens. And then look at the st- look at the statistics. Mm-hmm. And if you can argue to that, you're an idiot. Yeah. Like, it's unquestionable. Like, so I think it's good. You don't need nothing else. You is just it? make people make themselves look stupid. Nothing Great About Britain, the debut album is out right now. You've put a lot of work into this thing is and it? it's finally here. It's here. For everybody to listen to. If you see Slow Side crying, he's in a good mood, guys. He's just overwhelmed about the album. Tears of joy. Tears of joy.